Today we will be looking at lesson 21-1, 445590 triangles. This lesson will be split into five separate sections. We will cover questions 1A through D, sorry, 1A through C, then we'll do 1D, we'll do question 2, question 3, and question 4. Let's go ahead and take a look at the introduction for 1A through C. It says, the community hospital wants to make its rooms more cheerful. The hospital asks volunteers to sew quilts for patient rooms and to decorate the common areas. The Hoover High Student Council wants to participate in the project. Ms. Jones, a geometry teacher, decides to have her class investigate the mathematical patterns found in quilts. Quilt blocks are often squares made up of smaller fabric pieces sewn together to create a pattern. There are many different quilt block designs. Often these designs are named. A quilt block design made up of nine small squares called the Friendship Star is shown. Number one, starting with number one it says, the Friendship Star quilt contains five small squares and eight triangles. <clears throat> A. Identify congruent figures in the quilt block and explain why they are congruent. B. Classify the triangles in the quilt block by their angle measures. And C identify the triangles in the quilt block by their side lengths. For this particular section, I'm going to give you four minutes. So please go ahead, pause your video now and work through questions 1A through C. All right, as you can see, the answers to questions 1A through C have been provided. I stated that the large square was divided into nine congruent squares. Then five of those squares, sorry, four of those squares were then divided along their diagonals, which created eight congruent triangles. So this like shaded piece, the white piece, the white piece, the shaded piece, the white piece, the shaded piece the white and the shaded, eight congruent triangles. And then we have eight congruent squares because we have the corners that are all solid white and then the middle that has the pattern in it. Part B says classify the triangles in the quilt block. Well, if you look, each one of these are formed by a corner of a square and we know that squares are the line segments are perpendicular and create right angles, so therefore our triangles are called right triangles. That's based on the angles in the center. Now, if we're looking at the side lengths, if you recall, the side lengths of all squares are congruent. What do we know about a triangle that has two congruent sides? We call those isosceles. So down here at the bottom, I classified it by my sides. It was an isosceles triangle. If I classified it by the angles, it was a right triangle. On to your next set of questions.